Hello, I am Aritra Mitra and in this video we are going to talk about rolling motion. So what is rolling motion? Rolling motion is nothing but simply a combination of translational motion and rotational motion. Now we see a lot of things rolling in our daily life as a wheel, a ball or a pen. So let us start with a practical example. Now here I have a marker and two scales, one feet long. So I am now roll this one over there with the marker rolling with this. So you see as the marker advances by one foot, the scale advances by one plus one, two feet. So that's very important result for rolling without skidding. For every unit length went uh, by the body, the topmost point goes two times and the bottom most point that is this scale doesn't go anywhere. So this point has zero velocity. So advancing deeper, we see this thing for rolling without skidding. Now this concept of skidding has crept in. So now let us start with another practical example for this one too. Now I have this pen over here and I am going to do an experiment. And when I roll this, it comes back. Now when I roll this next time, it doesn't come back, it goes on. Now when I was a student and I first saw this experiment, I thought, wow, why is this pen going back? and going and coming back once but not the second time now I have a solution and an explanation too so we get u greater than k r omega initial this gives us a forward direction and u less than k r omega initial gives us backward direction and if we get it as equal so we get a stop complete stop no rotation or no linear velocity now this theory takes us to the concept of bending why would a thing bend in its path this will happen in this following way we will show i will show you with this example so now i'm gonna roll this over here now as you see this thing bent its path so why did it bend the theory is a bit complicated and make you understand it easy so why did this thing bend actually what happened was these two cross sections of it were contact with the track as this thing started to skid this radius of curvature decreased and this radius of curvature increased as this radius of curvature was greater than this one this started to bend and that's why it bent and these two were restrictors these to keep this thing on the track and prevent it from falling over. So that's why it starts to bend and goes on bending.